studying the ocean can be challenging. Its vast area covers 70% of our planet and presents formidable obstacles to human exploration. Freezing temperature, high winds, and large waves can sometimes conspire to make traditional ocean research uncomfortable and even dangerous. Just imagine trying to collect data from the deck of a ship with five meter waves and seasickness, or scuba dive in the deepest seas. Rugger professor engineer Dario Pompelli builds robot vehicles to explore the large areas of the ocean in faster and cheaper ways. These vehicles are quite expensive and the ocean is big, so how can we cover the entire area with fewer resources, just a few of these vehicles, they need to be intelligent, they need to be smart enough to decide where to go. To be able to communicate with each other on a mission, these vehicles use underwater acoustic communication, a technique of sending and receiving messages below water. The sound propagates in a very funny way underwater. Uh, there is this uh, interesting law, which is called the laziness law, that says that the round rays will bend towards the region of lower speed. How can sound waves be lazy? Well, the waves don't always go straight through the water, but find the slowest way to move through the water. But figuring out the lazy slow path is hard. It depends on the temperature, salinity, and pressure of the water, which are all different depending on what type of ocean you are in. And this makes things very complicated from a communication standpoint. If we knew the, how the temperature and the salinity uh, uh, change in, ta in time and space, then we could predict this, pro this weird, in a sense, and counterintuitive propagation uh, characteristic, and we could take advantage of that. But the very reasons why we are sending these vehicles is, for example, to take measurements of the temperature and the salinity, and, and, uh, which we don't know. So if you add underwater acoustic communication, you could have one of the vehicles on the surface to play the role of a relay node. Could basically relay the information from gliders underwater and use the satellite communication to play the role of a bridge, in a sense. And this would make the entire mission much more efficient. But sometimes ships are in a shadow zone where the light will just bend around the ship no matter what we do. In that case, we have to wait for the ship to move. And if it didn't get to the receiver, maybe wait and use opportunistically the, the fact that these vehicles are moving. So if they are in the shadow zone now, that doesn't mean that they will stay in the shadow zone because they are moving anyway. So you can retransmit later on. Dario shares his strategy to invent new technology. The important thing is never to be discouraged but to learn out of it and then go back to the drawing table and improve and understand why you did a mistake. So persistence is the most important uh, quality, I would say. Now it's your time to build underwater AVs. Find the activities in the Curiosity Machine to learn more.